Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and this is an introduction to my brand new web development series which covers everything you need to know about building a website. So let's have fun. What are the prerequisites you need to become a web developer? Uh, in the beginning, actually, you need nothing. You need not be a programmer. There, there are no prerequisite language which you need to learn. But as you proceed, there are a lot of technologies you need to explore and there are a lot of resources you need to use in order to build an awesome website. With that being said, what are the necessary things you need to learn at first? Okay? There are three basic things. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML and CSS are compulsory because HTML forms the skeleton of the website whereas the CSS forms the styling of the website. JavaScript makes the website dynamic in the sense when you hover the mouse over a particular element when you want it to change without the page being reloaded that is called dynamic content changing. Okay, We'll get more deep into it, you need not worry about it. Then we are going to start off with HTML. Okay, HTML is hypertext markup language. It forms the basic building block of the website and there are a hell lot of information about it. I'll leave the link down in the description. You can check them out if you want. Otherwise, we are good to go. You can proceed with the tutorial. So that's it. First things first, I want to show you where we could write the HTML code. Okay, um, actually using Notepad, you could uh, write the HTML code, but that's not good because I'll show you a text editor. This is called Sublime Text. And you can see the same code written in the notepad appears colored and like you get the indentations and you also get recommendations. Like for example, let me write the same thing, HTML. Okay, see you get the tag name. And once I start closing the tag, you get again the recommendation, it checks and it just gives you bam. See, for a simple text like this, it may seem kiddish, but believe me, when you're going to write a big project, then this would surely come in handy. So, what are we talking about? The text editors. I've got a couple of text editors, actually, couple of couple text editors. The first one is brackets.io. Okay, so the first one is brackets.io. Here, one a uh, unique feature which I found was the live server feature over here. Okay, it uh, as you're building the project, you'll be able to see them live on the browser. You could actually do with the plugins into the other text editors, but this one comes inbuilt. So if you like it, you could just go with it. Next one is Atom. It's free. It's light. Even the brackets is free. But this one is open source, and there are a lot of people um, contributing to it. So you could go with it if you like. This one is Sublime Text. This is which one I showed you here. Okay, uh, it is also light and it has a lot of shortcuts. Okay, um, the next comes Visual Studio Code. This has an integrated terminal in it. Terminal in the sense, the command line if you have worked with. Otherwise, it's okay. Like I'm gonna get you through everything, and I'm gonna mm, tell you the perfect text editor to use at a particular situation later. So you need not worry about it. You could download any one of these, okay, uh, brackets or Atom or Sublime or Visual Studio Code, and we are good to go. Before we start the tutorial, I would like to show you this website called How DNS Works, okay. So, once you click on a new tab and go to a website, say Google, g o g l e dot com, okay, and once you hit enter. There is no space actually called Google on the server, okay? It is all these IP addresses which you are dealing with. Since humans cannot remember the IP addresses, this naming thing came into existence. So how these all are connected and how this all works is properly and neatly described in this howdnsworks.com. Actually, it's howdns.works. So it's like a comical strip and you have some few episodes here you can just go through it like you'll have a better idea over what we're talking about and I just wanted to show you these uh, two websites which I very much like how they're designed okay 
first one is piratecode.ru okay we see here the way it loads this is this is all the javascript which i was talking about the dynamic thing okay so the other one is kuberto.com it actually starts begins with the music itself when you load the website the music starts playing i hope you could hear that if not you could just check them out i'll drop the link down in the description one thing which i liked about this website is though it may seem like partially dynamic once i start scrolling down it dynamically starts changing the layout of the website see i'm just scrolling now and the next page the next different thing comes so these are all the awesome websites you'll be able to make uh, once you complete the whole series okay i'll be bringing you the necessary components which you need to learn to become a good uh, web developer so hope to see you in the next tutorial see you there